Praise be to God. Tonight, word is knowing your true self in God. Let me start by saying that we all know ourselves. We know the type of food we love to eat. We know the clothes we like to wear. We know where we want to go. We know the things we like, we dislike. We have different attitudes. And we know ourselves as human beings. But do we know ourselves in the spirit? Do we know ourselves as God created people? Born again, believe in God that He, God is our Father and Jesus Christ is our Savior? How much do you know about yourself in the faith? Walking in the power of God, walking in the zeal of God. Many of us are ignorant to the things of God. And when we are ignorant to the things of God, we find ourselves struggling in life. We find ourselves keep failing, failing. Yes, we are not seeing the true power of God in its manifestation in our life. So we tend to be questioning ourselves is God truly with us? Yes, knowing your true self in God. This is the topic for tonight because we should all know ourselves in God. And at times, because we are so ignorant of the fact that God is with us, God will never leave us nor forsake us, at times we turn to other things other than God because we believe in quick resolution. We want to resolve things right now. And God wants us to trust in Him, believe in Him, even though we don't see what we're believing in Him coming to pass in the now. Yes, God wants you to have faith in Him. Trust in Him, even though the path don't seem like the path is a right path, but we are trusting in God. When the three Hebrew boys were cast into the lake of fire, they were trusting in God, despite of their adversaries, despite of what King Nebuchadnezzar was saying. They believed God and knew that God will and shall deliver. Yes, and God did came through for them because their faith in God and God will never fail you he will never fail me because of our faith we should always believe and trust in God praise be to God hallelujah glory to God in Jesus name knowing your true self in God you are a child of God born again of incorruptible seed of the Word of God we know that is true the word Jesus Christ manifested himself on earth because Jesus is the word word came to flesh and dwell amongst us and we behold the beauty we behold God in his manifestation in human flesh so the Word of God manifested before us and came into being into flesh so we by faith by the spoken word yes become a new created person in God we are no ordinary person in him we are incorruptible seed a seed that is sowing in us by the Holy Spirit we become a new creation in Christ 
Yes, you are forgiven of all your sin and be and washed in the blood of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ shed his blood for you, shed his blood for me, that today all our sins, even sins that we have not committed, may be forgiven. We were born in sin. Yes, shaped in iniquity. And Jesus Christ did a mighty work by shedding his blood on the cross for you. You are now a new creature in Christ Jesus. A new creature. Not the same old you in the flesh as you know yourself. You are a new created person in the inner man. Don't see yourself as a you in the flesh. The you in the flesh is dead in Christ. And the new you is come alive. So yes, the old you is dead and a new you come alive in Christ. Knowing your true self in God. You are the temple of the Holy Spirit. The temple of the Holy Spirit. When you become a child of God, when you confess your faith in God, the Spirit of God then come and dwell in you. That same Spirit that raised Christ from the dead, the same Spirit that did the creative work of God in, in bringing about this world, bringing about this earth, that same Spirit is now dwelling in you. So you are now the temple of the Holy Spirit. You are delivered from the power of darkness and translated into God's kingdom. A kingdom that is not made by hand. A kingdom that was brought into being through Christ's death, burial, resurrection, and ascension. Yes, we are now kingdom children and God is our king because we are king's children. We are to know who we are. We are the redeemed from the curse of the law of sin and death. The law that was made to bring us closer to God, the same law become debt to me. Christ deliver me from the bondage, from the burden of the law and he fulfilled the law in me that I now can live in the power of his blood, the power of his cross. Yes, the word tonight is knowing your true self. As I said before, many of us know what we like, what we dislike. Many of us know the type of clothes that we like to wear. We know exactly what time to wake up in the morning to go to work. We know what type of food we love and what we don't like. But many of us don't know who we truly are in God. Praise be to God. Yes, God say you are blessed. You are blessed. And in Deuteronomy 28, it outlines and say, and it shall come to pass if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord your God. Just hearken, just listen, just take heed unto the voice of God. A lot of blessing shall come your way. And the word of God says, And all these blessings shall come upon thee, and overtake thee if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Blessing shall thou be in the city. Blessing shall thou be in the field. Blessed shall thou blessed shall be the fruit of thy body and the fruit of thy ground and the fruit of thy cattle the increase of thy night. Yes. Blessing shall be thy basket 